What's up, King of Queens fans, and welcome to Shutty Uppy. Let's talk King of Queens. I'm Coach Dusty, and we got an exciting podcast for you tonight. I am joined from the, my beautiful co-host Jenna Maureen. What's up, Jenna? Hi. Just ready to record. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> a woman, a few words. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we had some amazing feedback on our lost uh, Facebook post asking for guests, which is crazy. Jenna like went all out, like looking for guests, posting all over the place on Facebook, and it's, it look. I guess we're booked all the way through February. Yeah, pretty much. And we still have. There's quite a few people that I have not gotten in contact or like in touch um, with that have commented or messaged me. But there was so many people that wanted to be a guest. And I was like, what, what the heck? Because sometimes <laughs> it's hard to find a guest. Yeah. And then for some reason, this post, there was so many people. And so if I have not gotten back to you, I will tomorrow. That was on my to-do list. But it got a little overwhelming. And I was super busy with teenagers this week. So yeah. I'll get back to you. Oh, yeah. The life of a mom. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, thank that's, you for that's your awesome. patience, everybody, that yeah. I haven't gotten in contact with. And what's crazy is, like, still a lot of people don't know about our podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, which I understand because, you, know, you know, it's been a while since we've recorded and stuff yeah. like and that. And there's still new people joining the uh, King of Queens group and all that on Facebook. Yeah. But I think it's awesome that, you know, we're getting new fans every day, which is great. Yeah, it's exciting. All right. Well, let's go ahead and introduce our guest today. Um, he is married to his beautiful wife and has two crazy kids, ages six and one, originally from Wales and moved to Virginia at age six. He's an electrician and what was that Paul Hatton? Paul Hayton? Hayton? Powhatan. Powhatan. My God. Close. I am terrible. <laughs> I am terrible at pronouncing words. It is terrible. It's all good. Um, about 30 miles west of Richmond, he enjoys watching football and golfing. King of Queens is his number two favorite TV show of all time behind The Office. Please welcome Chris Powell as our guest. What's up, Chris? Woo! How's it going? Thank you for having me. We're excited to have you. Thank you. So tell us a little bit. So you were born and raised in Wales. In Wales, yeah. Tell you, you said... right there. Okay. Right there behind me on the flag. Oh, very cool. So yeah. <laughs> what brought you over to the United States? My dad's job, they sort of shut down the factory, and uh, they pretty much offered a handful of people jobs in either America or Germany. And okay. my mom was like, well, I'm not moving to Germany. <laughs> so, yeah. So they came to, they came to Virginia, and, uh, and it was supposed to be temporary, and now it's been about 30 years. Wow. And so almost 30. Yeah. So, so we've been there a long time and, um, and they still had the accents. Obviously I lost it pretty yeah. quick Yeah. because at age six, you're going into what first, second grade and, yeah. uh, with a little, little British accent, you get made fun of for having yeah. a different accent and not, <laughs> you know, it's not cool. And so <laughs> I lost it pretty quick. Yeah, but, well, I uh, think it's cool. <laughs> yeah, I know. I wish I had kept it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd be a you know a Brit right now, but so yeah, so moved here and I just got my citizenship last about a year and a half ago. Wow, oh, congrats! Um, thanks, but yeah, it's uh yeah, it's pretty pretty, pretty crazy story. Now, now have I'd... you been oh, back sorry. to visit? Sorry, Dusty. No, you good. You good. Last last time I went back, I was eighteen. And I'm 35 now, so it's actually been too long. Yeah. Um, just you know, between having kids, and then it's like, well, you don't want to take a baby on a plane, yeah. and then and then having another kid, and it's like, well, I don't want to take a baby on a plane. <laughs> you know, it's yes. like, so you, I understand. Uh, I haven't been back, uh, but now that we're done having kids, I think we're gonna plan a trip. Very so, cool. That's yeah. Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, well, I can't wait. You said you had to uh, work on your accent to, to – I'm sorry I missed it because I had to go out and go do something real quick. But you said something yeah. about your accent. Yeah, so in – you know, if you're like in first or second grade and you yeah. have – my name obviously is Chris or Christopher. Yeah. And so I used to say Christopher as my name and they would make fun of it. And it's yeah. like I'd go home like super mad like yeah. I want to work on my – 
American accent. Like, it yeah. was stupid. Like, you know, like a second grader yeah. coming home getting bullied because of the way he talked. So that was me. You know, just wanted to talk how everyone else talks. And right. it's like, you know, so I, like, really worked on not having a British accent, which is yeah. frustrating now because you talk to a kid now. It's like, no, be yourself, you know, be yourself, yeah. be who you are. Right. But at that time, I was just like, no, I'm, I want to be like everybody else. You know, I don't want to be made fun of anymore. Yeah. They're all going, Especially say your name. Especially because you're so little. Right. Exactly. And they go, what's your name again? I go, Christopher. And they go, Christopher. And they'd run off laughing. And oh, it's like, gosh. come on. You know, it's like, it's I awful. hate it here. That's yeah, terrible. It, was, it was terrible. And so, yeah, it was, uh, so that's why. Yeah. But yeah, my parents still have, still have the accent. They've been here now. It's been about 30 years for them, you know, okay. with, without family. Yeah. So all aunts, uncles, cousins, they're all still over there. Wow. Wow. So, yeah. Yeah. I've always wild. wanted to go over there. Oh, it's beautiful. It's, it's, it's crazy. Now, when you worked on your accent, did you, did you do any of, uh, Spence's, uh, um, accent exercises. <laughs> I should have. I should have. Nobody, nobody's fingers are in my mouth. <laughs> yes, that's funny. Yeah, that's uh, that's awesome. Well, cool. If you had an accent, my wife would probably fall in love with you. <laughs> oh, boy. She loves British accents. About accents. Uh, yeah, it's always something. Yeah, people love it. But now I'm just in Virginia. <laughs> All right, um, Chris, you ready? You ready for some trivia? I think so. We'll All right, see. we'll see if I am. Let's go. <laughs> All right, well, we're doing season nine, episode nine, uh, Mild Bunch. Um, it's written by Michael J. Whitehorn, David Litt, and Dennis Regan. Directed by Rob Schiller, and, and originally aired on April twenty third, two thousand seven. It's like right after I graduated high school. Yeah, it was the year I graduated. That's crazy. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, me too. Definitely. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Just five years beforehand, but it's fine. yeah. Jenna looks like she's in her late twenties. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, episode synopsis: It's uh, Doug's high school reunion, and he is going stag while Carrie relaxes at home and tries to watch a movie with Arthur. All right, Jenna, you want to start uh, the questions, or do you want me yeah. to start? I will right. start. All right. So the first question, which I don't <laughs> meant to ask my husband, did this question make sense? <laughs> Was this good English? <laughs> but I forgot to ask him. So for all you grammar people out there or English people, look, I just talk how I talk. Okay. Um, so what pill did Carrie ask Doug if he took it? <laughs> I just <Black> read <laughs> Not good. <laughs> 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 uh, Anyways, you know what I'm trying to say. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, Chris, that is correct. <laughs> that's I got funny. what you're. I, I picked up what you're putting down. Thank you. Thank you. At least, at least you could understand what I was trying to say. <laughs> oh man. I was distracted by the face he was making at that time. My English wasn't working. <laughs> all right. Um, but I love that part because how he, like, thinks he's all cool. He's like, yeah, it's pretty crazy back in the day. Yeah. And she's like, did you take your lactose pill? And he's like, no, no, I didn't. <laughs> His demeanor just changes. Yeah. Well, she said, she said this, that, that face is going to set us back in the bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It was not his most attractive face for her. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) All right. Question two. This has two parts to it. Um, So how old was Carrie the last time she and Arthur saw a movie together? And then what was the movie? Oh, boy. So just think about first, what, how old was she? What did he say? Right. These are the, well, both answers are going to be a complete guess. Okay. We can give 12. you multiple choice. Oh. Jen is great at multiple choice. choice. I hate giving <laughs> multiple choice. <laughs> but we'll give you multiple choice. I um, can't wait to hear the movie multiple choice. Uh, I'm let's, dreading let's this do. already. <laughs> the, the ages I can do, you know. Yeah, I can, exactly. All right. Um, so 10, 12, 
13, 7, or 8. I gave you like five choices. Damn, you gave a lot of <laughs> <I'm sorry. Jesus. laughs> I'm going to stick with 12. Okay. Close. And uh, I'm going to close. 11, or what was it? 10, 12, 13. Go down. 10? Down more. Two more. <laughs> Two more. Eight? Yep. yep. Okay. So she was uh, eight. And right. then the movies. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> we haven't done multiple on, choice in so long. I know. Um, okay, Wizard of Oz, um, Star Wars. Uh, <laughs> this is gonna be obvious. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm trying to think of other. <laughs> I'll go with Wizard of Oz. I wait. I haven't even given the answer oh. yet. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> so now you know it's not Wizard of Oz. <laughs> I can't think of any other movies. I'm trying to think of... Um, Dusty, throw some movies out there. I can't think of I now that. pronounce you Chuck and Larry and Death Wish. Death Wish? Yep. yep. Death Wish, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that My was funny. Drawing a blank. Yeah, her uh, multiple choice are the best. Yeah. What was it, Starshine? <laughs> Was it Starshine when we first did it? <laughs> it was oh, a restaurant. My brain. My brain. Well, fun fact, I think Mike and I have discovered that I possibly may have ADD, just in case anybody out there was wondering. Yeah. So my brain might be a little weird. Oh, God. Oh, that's right. awesome. Good job, Chris. All right. Question three. And this one is going to include a bonus as well, but... I'll give you the first question or the first part of the question. Before she says this question, <laughs> this is what like this is what Jenna likes to do with her questions. She has two parters and she likes to number questions. <laughs> she loves questions with numbers. That is Jenna's questions right there. That's I don't Jenna know why. Trivia. Just... <laughs> oh boy. All right. But she so... does a great job. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who cut Arthur off in line at the Rite Aid? So remember, Carrie wanted to watch a certain movie. And he was like, nope, vetoed. Cheryl McLean. Yes. And yep. do you remember what year this was that she, this oh. is the bonus part. This, um, so if you don't get it, it doesn't count against you. Not that we really, you know, count the questions. <laughs> against you or anything. Was it uh, 1977? Oh, you're like, Ooh, you... flip the numbers and then, so to flip the numbers. 1797? 19... Hold 19... on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Wait, 19- Jenna, said, what are you doing? Wait, wait, you said 1977, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, you said 1977? Never mind. Just kidding. Is that right? No. <laughs> you said flip yeah. the numbers, and I'm like, 1977? Oh, no, I can't flip them. You can't. 1797? <laughs> <laughs> that was a really no. bad blonde. <laughs> 7197? I don't know. <laughs> okay. No. Um, okay. What I was thinking in my head, you were going to say 1978, and I meant flip the numbers. So flip. So 1987. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I, was close. I guess I was close. You were semi close, yeah. <laughs> Some more close. You were like, you know, in the 1900s, so you're good. Oh, well, I was 10 years <laughs> old. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. That's not 1900s. bad. At all. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, question four. What was the name of Doug's high school? Oh, shit. Oh, my gosh. It wasn't John Adams. Dusty's going to give you multiple choice on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say I. And they didn't, they didn't say the name. It just was in the background. Oh, well, shoot. I don't so, even have a guess. So, <laughs> I don't even... Well, let's have Dusty give you some multiple choice. Put him okay. Oh, yeah. Under the All right. Seat. Is it A, St. Luke's High School, B, St. Mary's High School, C, St. Gregory's High School, or D, St. Paul's High School? Ooh, coming in with all the saints. Oh, oh yeah. I'm very confident with all four. Yeah. Got I'm gonna say <laughs> they all want to sound great. I know. You didn't pause before any of them. I don't, I'll say, say, you say Gregory's? Yeah. Yeah, good yeah, job. Good job. Yep. Good job. 
I should have went a little yeah. bit slower on that. I, I should have spaced them out. No, it was she that's put me how on the spot. <laughs> yeah, now you know how it. I feel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That was a good job. All right. Question five. Who does Spence have a picture of on his dartboard? So he's talking to the um, lady and they're talking about their allergies. Yeah. And he's allergic to the feathers. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. So if you think back to other episodes, what is he allergic to? Well, pretty much everything, but what's like one of the main things? (laughs) Mr. Peanut. Yes. Good job. Good job. That's funny. All right, Dusty, you want to take over? Yeah. Uh, Question number six. Where did Danny want to go when he said the reunion was lame? IHOP. Yes. (laughs) Have you guys eaten at IHOP recently? Like, Uh, recently, no. No, Yeah, it's been years for me. They don't have a whole lot of them anymore. No. Yeah. Didn't they change their name to, like, IHOP? Like inter- th- International House of Burgers? Did I they think they to- did. Did they really? For, okay, but that was like for a... For like a um, campaign. Yes, I th- or like a um, April Fool's joke or something. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. I think yeah, that was something- a, you're right. Yeah. It wasn't, a, it wasn't a campaign. It was like an April Fool's thing. Yeah. Yeah, because everyone campaign. was like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was huh. dumb. It's still... They still... they. You know, no one's no one goes there still. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh it's yeah. It's still not cool. I'd rather go to Waffle House. Yeah. Oh really? <laughs> oh yeah. Wait, I was gonna say I didn't even think of Waffle House, but what about Denny's? Oh yeah. Oh. I do like Denny's. Like a great yeah. Instagram black breakfast. Yeah. I can't eat at Waffle House anymore. It mm. I like the uh, show. The I'm show? Not a the not fight. Waffle House fan. Oh yeah. Not a Waffle House fan either. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while since I've been to one of those late night Waffle Houses and seen a show, but yeah, yeah. they're great. I had to think for a second. I was like, the fights. They don't oh, yeah. They're not like Buffalo. <laughs> See, every night there's a fight at a Waffle House. Oh, yeah. Just... <laughs> don't understand it. No. All it right. Just... Especially up here where I'm at. Oh, yeah. yeah, I bet. Yeah. Yeah, in Richmond. Yeah. They, it's crazy. How far uh, are you from Norfolk? Uh, probably about like two hours. Oh, okay, I used to live in Norfolk. Oh, Did I didn't really? know that, Dusty. Yeah, I lived there for a couple years uh, with my son's uh, birth mother. Hmm. As we That's moved cool. from North Carolina up to Virginia, because she's from the Norfolk area. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. It's beautiful up there. I love it. It I is. I've yeah. visited a few times. I have friends up there. Yeah, I love the Virginia yeah. Beach area. How far are you guys from... Not to sidetrack, but like Charlotte-ish. Two hours. Yeah, I'm about two and a half hours. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I don't know my my geography of North Carolina very well, but I know Charlotte. I know like the beat, like Ocean Isle, like going down oh, yeah. South Carolina. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, Ocean Isle. I love oh. Ocean Isle. Yeah. Calabash and all that. You guys mm-hmm. been down there? I like uh I mean I mean I, I don't vacation to Ocean Isle that much, but I yeah. love the Ocean Isle area, but Oak Island, like that's yeah. I love yeah. Oak Island. That's my place and the fishing over there is just phenomenal. That's oh, like cool. the Outer Banks, right? Area or no? no, no, it's uh like you know where Wilmington is, right, Jenna? Mm-hmm. It's about thirty minutes from Wilmington, like going Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's not far. Southport yeah. area. Uh um, went there a couple times my my wife's grandparents. And uh, that's what they vacationed. And I was like, I don't know, I have no clue what that is. And we went down there and it was like, oh, this place is, this place oh, is yeah. great. You know? Oh, yeah. North Carolina has some of the best beaches on the East Coast. Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I 100% agree. Yep. Yeah. And Ocean Isle and Oak Island are more like, not private, but it's just, it's more quieter than a yeah. lot of the other beaches in North Carolina. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's, it's like it's, like you said, like it's more more private. Yeah, I oh, like yeah. it a lot. See, that, that's one of the reasons I love Oak Island is because on the island they have no like franchise restaurants or any, everything's like locally owned and all yeah. that. And there's no like McDonald's or anything like that right. on the island. You have to go off the island to go to that crap. 
but that's yeah. that's why I love Ocala. It's just it's just great, just different stuff yeah. there. Yeah, I've never been no, there. It's, oh, that's cool. Jenna. You got to go. Oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> um, but do you know where like Fort Bragg is, like Fayetteville, in North Carolina, the Army base here in uh, North Carolina, Fort Bragg? That's where Jenna lives, and I'm like 30 minutes from there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, and okay. we just figured it out one time that we live close by each other. Right. Like, what? <laughs> so, yeah. That was crazy. Yeah. That is crazy. <laughs> yeah. And so he's giving my started... son like baseball lessons and everything. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know that you were that, you know, close enough to do that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's pretty cool. Oh, I yeah. I know that uh, uh, Steve lives up in New York. Yeah. And so when you guys you know, all did this thing together. I didn't know you guys were that close. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. We didn't either until yep. we started doing right. this. Yep. So that's so cool. It was pretty cool. Yeah, it was nuts. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. I like cool. it. One day we'll have to do like a live podcast together. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Yeah, we yeah. still haven't done that. We've known each other for over a year now. We still haven't done that yet. It's been <laughs> maybe it's two been years. Ta- it's been longer than that because has it been longer than two years? I think it was 2019. Holy crap. Because I think I was <laughs> teaching and that's when I was um, that's right. a guest. And it was yep. during like COVID and I was yes. going to school. So yes. I think it was okay. like 2019. Yep. yep. That's Maybe crazy. She started COVID. off as a guest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we were like, yeah, we have to hide her on here. <laughs> she was so it funny. was my <laughs> multiple choice questions that won them over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There was one. There was one episode that Jenna, you were a guest, and like I said, I've listened to all the episodes. <laughs> you were a guest, and Dusty was having uh, like technical difficulties, <laughs> like cutting in and out. And he goes, yeah, I don't want to say it. I, I don't. Know. We can't cuss on this, but he goes. Oh yeah, you can. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then it cut back out. It was like. <laughs> I remember that. He yelled so loud. And (laughs) you and Steve were like, well, wait, let's hang on. Let's see if Dusty, maybe maybe he'll come back in. And then you go, all of a sudden, you just hear Dusty go, son of a fuck. And then (laughs) cuts right back out. (laughs) Okay. Oh, that was hilarious. I totally remember. (laughs) 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 Oh, my God. And then he comes back on and goes, Sorry guys, had some computer problems. I'm back, and it's like, yeah, you just screamed. <laughs> we all heard you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. When yeah. I get frustrated, I yell like random, like weird cuss yeah. words. <laughs> just like combine cuss words together. Exactly. <laughs> That's funny because I just say, "I will murder you." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 That's great. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Um, that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, question number seven. What was Adam Sandler's nickname in this episode? The Beast. Yeah. Beast. Good job. The Beast. <laughs> All right. Question number eight. What did Jeff um, Sussman have to get for the principal at the store? Jeff Sussman's uh, Adam Sandler. Ginger ale. Yep. Not lemon lemon. Yes. And, uh, yep, yep. There was one more thing, one more. too. What did he originally ask for? Uh, I think. Because I went to of... go back and go <laughs> watch yeah. it again, and I forgot. <laughs> <Don't look back. laughs> we're, out, we're out of this. Also, get me a Is it? It's either ice, cup. Yeah, you're or... right. It's you ice. Is it ice? ice. Okay. It was ice. Good job. Good job, dude. All right, last question. What movie did Arthur end up renting for Carrie at the end of the show? Finally. In her shoes? Yeah. Good job. Good job, dude. You did awesome, Chris. Yeah, man. Heck yeah. You did really good on the trivia. Yeah. Not too bad. Yeah. You did good. I stumbled on a couple. (laughs) That's okay. That's why we have multiple choice for you. Yeah. (laughs) Exactly. Thank you. (laughs) I mean, couldn't get any better. (laughs) Right. Exactly. All right. Um, so, Chris, what what does King of Queens mean to you? Like, uh, you know, just tell us, like, you know, when you started watching King of Queens, and you know, what 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 does it mean to you? 
to be honest, I started watching after school um, when it was The Office, King Queens, Seinfeld, and Everybody Loves Raymond. Yeah. And there was the four shows on TBS. And it was like, this show's actually pretty funny. Yeah. And uh, so that's how I started watching. Everybody Loves Raymond, um, The Office, obviously, and Seinfeld, you can watch anywhere. Yeah. But I went to my parents' house and they, you know, had Peacock for free with Comcast and all that. And uh, King of Queens was on there. And I was like, how in the world can you stream this? <laughs> they were like, I mean, it came free with Comcast. I was like, yeah. I have Comcast. I can't stream it for free. So I got Peacock. And long story short, I got it for free with my Peacock. And uh, I don't know. I started watching. And I was like, this is like such a funny show. Yeah. Um, you know, so yeah, that's how I started sort of watching again. That's awesome. You know, I think it's, I think he, Kevin James is hysterical. Yeah. You know, so yeah, I don't know. I just, I just think it's so funny. Oh, the yeah. The writing is so funny. Everything about it's hysterical. I have to agree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Such a great show. God, yeah. man. I mean, like, yeah. Kevin James is hilarious, and so is Leah Remini, but adding Arthur into that mix right. just, like, brought that show even to more life to that show. I mean, it's just so funny. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. They're all, a, per- like, they're just all perfect together. They feed yes. off of each other. And- yep. Yeah. And then the friends, the group of friends, which, I mean, it was just, it was just almost, it was damn near perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I and maybe Danny, I'm just biased. <laughs> yeah. uh, Danny is, is hysterical. Yeah. You know, some of the one-liners he has is like, you know, so funny. Mm. And, yeah. And, and you could tell Kevin James. And the way they deliver it and everything. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And you could tell Kevin James has a, has a say in the writing. Yeah. You could tell from his stand-up, but it's like. It's the writing is so funny, yeah. You know? So they just they just made it great. Yep, I agree. Oh my god, I I just got to watch King of Queens again. I know. <laughs> <laughs> now you said Office is your number one show. The Office is hilarious. I freaking yeah. love The Office. Yeah. God, I do. That's what she said all the damn time. <laughs> and that's when yeah. my wife did it to me on our second date. I said something. Oh, I can't yeah. remember what I said, and she did it on the second day. I was like, "I love you." Yeah, oh, <laughs> like, I was like, yes. yes. Wait, did you oh, actually yes. say that? No, no. But oh, in my okay, head, I'm saying like, it. "I'm in love with this woman." Yeah, he's perfect. So, yeah, yeah, I just, uh, man, I couldn't believe she said that to me on our second day. And I was like, "What the hell?" Like, this is great. <laughs> no, it's perfect. Yeah, the office. I've won, I've won a few office trivia's. That's that. Is, that is my number one show. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so. I just, I the whole that whole show was just funny. Yeah. And I just love the feud between Dwight Schrute and Jim, like at mm. the the fights they are not the fights but the pranks and just mm. so funny. Yeah, yeah, that's a good show. All right, wow. um, quotes and ponderings. Uh, do you have any like fun, like favorite, favorite quotes parts? or scenes? Yeah. There was one that really made me laugh out loud. It was Danny talking to Spence at the reunion. <laughs> he goes, what are you going to say when she rounds third base and finds out there's a bat on the field? Yeah, that is the funniest one. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, that was yes. good. And I like then, the uh, – oh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Chris. Oh, sorry. Just one more. The uh, Yeah, go ahead. No, go ahead. When Arthur – was talking to uh, the, well, his, in real life, his daughter, but the girl at the video store. And she said, aren't you the guy that got me fired? And he's like, well, you do have a face that looks like it would annoy me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah. And that was his daughter, too. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yep. I like how they brought her back. Yes. And she had been yeah. in an episode and that cuz sometimes <laughs> they have the same guests on but they don't mm-hmm. have 
the same storyline. So that the fact that they continued with that, yeah. I love that. Because she yes. said, like, you got me fired from the Java Hut. Like, it was yeah. the same character. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that one's funny. There, there's one part that I can't remember the whole line, but Spence was like, "Well, at least at the end of my road, there's a vagina." Yeah. <laughs> so that that part really cracked me up. That one was my. I think that was one of my favorites. At the end of my rainbow. At the end of my rainbow. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, me as a, a girl, I that's not what I want. I, <laughs> I can't believe Jenna said vagina. I know, I know. Jenna, Jenna doesn't cuss that much. No. So hearing her say vagina is pretty funny. Well, that's funny because the other word for vagina that is... Oh, yeah. One time I said it to my friend and we have met Alex. You remember Alex. We, she was on... On episode once. Oh, uh, the one with the yeah. accent. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, I said that word, and she was like, oh, "Jenna just said." Oh my god! <laughs> and we had been friends for like ten years at that point, so oh she was just god. shocked because I really That's don't. Funny. I try not to say certain things. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. Yeah. Um, did anybody notice that? And I, I don't think I've ever really noticed it before. Um, but at the movie store, the movie rental store, they had 50 first dates and Mr. Deeds, um, as some of the movie selections behind Arthur and Carrie. I did not oh. notice that. Yeah. yeah, I didn't either. I don't know if there was any more cause I wasn't wearing my glasses, so I couldn't make any <laughs> others out, but there might be more that other, um, people noticed, but those were the two that I spotted. <laughs> I did. I didn't notice that. And That's crazy. Have to go back and rewatch it. Yeah, I'll, I'll put my glasses on and I will. <laughs> I thought it was cool that they did that. Yeah, that Just, is. That's awesome. With Adam Sandler in the TV uh, the mm-hmm. episode, also that's that's funny. Yeah. 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 They also had Adam Sandler's friend, the guy that uh, let's see in the reunion. Yeah, there was two the of guy them. That's, yeah, was the guy that was Dante. Gay that, Hit on uh, Danny. Yep. And yep. then also the guy that was married that's like, don't in think you're in a camera store. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And it's like both of those guys are, like, if you remember in, in, in Big Daddy, they, yep. they're like gay together. Oh, yeah. Like they're all always in Sandler movies. Yep. Yeah. And I think they may have been in 50 First Dates or. They were. They were. They right? were. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yep. Yeah. And I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. They probably, I think they were in that. Yeah, they were yep. probably the fireman. I yeah. love the fact yeah. that Adam Sandler does that, keeps Me the too. whole group together. Because yeah. uh, they, even though uh, um, he, like, pays them, you know, equal amounts. Like, no one, like, makes more than other. They all get paid the equal amount and stuff like yeah. that. I mean, and his movie, I mean, you know, Adam Sandler is, like, worth almost a billion dollars. Oh, yeah. It's insane. Yeah. And, you know, I just love the fact that he does that for all his friends. I mean, it's, yeah. it's great. It's cool yeah. that he does that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm trying to think of any other guys that were in the episode. I would have loved to seen Rob Schneider in that. Or that any of them. Cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or David Schwimmer. Or, yeah. or not Schwimmer. Uh, Spade. David Spade. Yeah. 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 Spade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, great. it was, uh. Yeah, Evan Sandler. That raised the rating for me. Yeah. When when uh, you told me what episode we were doing, I was like, I mean, I got the Adam Sandler episode. It's season nine. Yeah. But I got the Sandler episode. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. I got lucky on season nine. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And a lot of people don't like this episode. I, I thought it was good. I thought it was funny. Oh, people don't? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm. I'm. You know what? Let's let's go ahead and do our uh, review yeah, and yeah. ratings. Wait. Can I yeah. say one more thing that I you, liked? Go go quick? right ahead, Jenna. I liked um, when Adam Sandler went and like um, crashed into the store and everything, and he, Doug was like, "Let's go home." Oh my gosh, I gotta go. And he was like looking at the camera, throwing the money. Down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Because he was trying to be so hardcore, and then yeah. he went a little too far. And he's like, yeah. okay, I'm out." <laughs> you're right. You're right. When he was like eight minutes from one, eight minutes from now, or eight minutes from 
I got to pee. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. What that was funny. Response time. Yeah. That was funny. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that was funny. Um. <laughs> all right. Um. <coughs> ratings and reviews. So we had twenty people um vote on our our poll, which is good, better than uh last week. I mean, we're getting back to starting because uh. We're getting back to starting to doing the podcast and all that, so we'll get more votes every week. But we got 20 votes, which is great. And out of those 20 votes, I'm going to let you know, there was a few five stars, a few four stars, a few three stars, a few two stars, and a few one stars. I mean, it was it's insane. Uh, and we don't and, normally ooh. get one stars on our the ratings. Right, very yeah. often. Yep. And out of those 20 votes, um, the rating came out to a 2.9. Whoa. Yes, wow, a two point nine out of five, Jeez. which is yeah, and a lot lower than the IMDb score because I think the IMDb score was uh, a seven point seven or something like that. Yeah, it was seven point seven. Yeah, so that's a lot lower than that. Um, I noticed if I you average them out, the, the Facebook group really, really does not like season nine. Oh no, yeah, they don't. they don't. And it's like there's a couple good ones. But yeah. if they see season nine, I feel like there's an automatic, no, nah, well, yeah. I'm out. You know, yeah. and it's like, I mean, just look at it, though. Look back oh, yeah. at it. But, yeah, I feel like there's a real hate on season nine. Big yeah. time. In that I Facebook agree. group. Right? Yeah. Big time. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, the, there's uh, comments. Uh, <laughs> one from Nadine uh, McClick- Mick Clintock. I'm not a fan of the final season either. It doesn't seem well thought out. Um, it's it's let's bang out some episodes and then Kevin can go make movies. Given that this was the third or fourth episode where Doug had some sort of reunion, maybe he, that's actually true. <laughs> <laughs> He's had a few reunions. I never on his, really thought about that. Right. <laughs> uh, maybe they should have just run out of uh, – maybe they just had just run out of ideas. Um. And also, Kevin uh, Piskin, <laughs> I disliked the majority of the final season because it showed Doug and Carrie headed toward a divorce. Thankfully, they didn't, uh, but I just didn't enjoy the ride. Possibly. Or possibility. Yeah. So, I mean, okay. I think it shows, season nine shows the realities of marriage. I mean, yeah. everybody goes through ups and downs. Mm-hmm. They weren't, they yeah. weren't, and you can see it throughout the seasons. They weren't yeah. always happy they weren't mm-hmm. always in love they fought just like every other married couple out there and i i actually i don't mind season nine i actually i liked how they ended the um yeah. show and everything mm-hmm. so Same here. yeah yep yeah yeah um uh, yeah I, i'm the same way i enjoyed season nine too i mean it's not the best season of course but i still right. enjoyed it yeah. yeah but i was a good point that you made that it shows like the you know that not every marriage is perfect. I mean, yeah. they, they're going through their ups and downs just like a normal marriage. And that's actually, I actually kind of like that. They did show that mm-hmm. in the last yeah. season. I mean, they yeah, were going through too. up and down. So, and, and everybody goes through that. that apartment. In uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no joke. I've actually been looking at <laughs> <studios> <laughs> for myself. In the <laughs> I need help. I need to get out of here. These <laughs> Okay, anyways, moving on. <laughs> That's funny. I'm telling mine. <laughs> oh, he knows. I... <laughs> oh, he knows. That's funny. <laughs> so like, oh, by the way, I'm looking at apartments in New York City for myself. <laughs> no one's welcome. <laughs> That's funny. All right, you know what we didn't do uh, last week? We didn't uh, rate our uh, rate the episode. We didn't? We didn't. Oh, I yeah, right. I did. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, my God, we did not rate the episode. So oh, we're going to go I'm ahead surprised. and rate the episode. Yep. And we're going to let our guests go first. So uh, wh- what would you rate this episode out of 10? I think, gosh, season nine. Look, I just defended it to our group. <laughs> yeah. But I also am not a huge, like, if it was, you know, one through nine, it would be yeah. probably last. Yeah. Uh, I'd probably give this like a 7.6 okay, just because good. 
just because like Arthur was funny, but his storyline wasn't that funny. Mm-hmm. And it's like Jerry Stores what made it funny, like them with the movie. Yep. It's like okay, get it, you know, get on with it. But yeah. Jerry Stiller is the one that made that storyline funny, right? And it's like it wouldn't have been funny with any other actor because it's like, oh god, go rent the movie and then go back get the movie. Get, yeah. You know that that whole thing is. Uh, yeah. But Jerry Stiller made it funny, and then um, the same thing with the like it had Adam Sandler, and it's like holy shit, like we got Adam Sandler in this episode. Yeah. But Kevin James had to make it funny when he actually really didn't. To me, uh, Danny is the one who made it funny for mm-hmm. me. Yes, you know, with his one-liners and his his every, pretty much every scene he was in was funny. Yeah, uh, I don't think that uh, Kevin James was that funny in this. So it was between Danny and and uh, Arthur. Yeah, seven and a half yeah. for me. So. I agree with that. I mean, yeah, because uh, he didn't. Kevin James didn't have a lot of like funny moments in this episode. Yeah. I mean, the gas no. station part, yes, but there wasn't a lot of funny. There wasn't parts, yeah. Well, the gas station, and also like they're on the way to the thing and or the uh, reunion, and Spence has this ridiculous European haircut, and he goes, <laughs> you know, what do you say, Woodruff? And it's like <laughs> that's it. That's it for Kevin yeah. James. That yeah. one little stupid one-liner. Yeah. What do you say, Woodrow? Or, you know, it's like, and that's it? That's the yeah. joke? He's the star of the show. Like, he's yeah. hysterical. Yep. And that's what you got for him is, hey, Woodruff. And it's like, oh, you know, he could have done so much more with the way Spence yeah. looked. Yeah. I feel like, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. What do you guys think? Yeah. I'm... I'm with you. Like, I just defended season nine. <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry. But I don't, I don't actually really like this episode. Um, no, no. It's, it's not one that I rewatch. Um, right. Yeah. Yeah. I just, it's, I, I don't actually really like it. Um, it had the funny parts um, that, I, like, you know, in the beginning. Um, I think, actually, the beginning was one of the funniest parts. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, but... And I did like the part where they were watching the movie, and one of them turned. It almost sounded like it was turning into porn. And Arthur was like, "I'll be back in twenty minutes." <laughs> yeah. So there was just a few things, that, but I don't know. I just felt like this one was just kind of yeah awkward. Black. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. It didn't seem like a normal King of Queens episode to me. Um, yeah. So this may possibly be my lowest rating. I, honestly, I don't remember the lowest rating mm. I've ever given, but. To me, I'm going to go 6.5. Ooh. Okay. So. Dang. <laughs> okay. Jeez. Um, I agree. I mean, I, I love Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler is one of my favorite uh, comedians. Um, I love all his movies, even the stupid ones. I still love them. I, yeah. I, 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 I like this episode because of Adam Sandler, but it wasn't as funny. Um, not my favorite episode on uh, in this season. Um, mm. I'm a, you know what? I'm gonna piggyback off Chris and I'm gonna give it a seven point five. That's what you. It was seven point five you gave, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. I'm gonna I'm gonna go seven point five also. Yeah. So, Jenna, still, Jenna, you. <laughs> I made it. I made it go down. Sorry. Yeah. It's like it. You know. I don't know. It's just not one that I want to rewatch. Like I, right. Right. Like there's no, so I many agree. that I can rewatch and I can laugh each time. Um, yeah. I don't know. It just felt kind of off to me. I, I don't know. Yeah. Even no, Adam Sandler on it, like when he was throwing the eggs and hitting the car. I don't know. It just was weird to me. Yeah. yeah. But I get I, it. I mean, I don't know. Maybe other people feel differently. <laughs> <laughs> and Adam Sandler is so funny. Yeah. And even in the part where he's like, the stinky ones are, or the expired ones are more stinky. Yeah. It's like, that wasn't funny to me. I, I get what you're saying. Jenna, I agree yeah. with you. Yeah. You know, like, it wasn't like, it's like, Adam Sandler, you know, come on. You're yeah. Adam Sandler. Be Adam Sandler. Yeah. Be right, funny. yeah. Like, what are you doing in this episode? It's <laughs> like, he wasn't himself in that episode. Yeah. He's there 
because the writers are going, hey, Kevin, we're getting to the end of the, the show. Yeah. Got any buddies that want to come on? He's like, Adam said he'd come. You know, like, it felt like that a little bit. Yeah. yeah. You know? Um, I don't know. Yeah, it was... It was, it was it almost like it felt like it really, really was trying to rely on Adam Sandler to yeah. carry it. Uh, yeah. But Arthur, for me, Jerry Stiller carried it to to bring it to a seven and a half for me. Yeah, yeah. Well, and there this, wasn't a lot of episodes oh, in ahead, season sorry. nine, right? I don't no, think it was a full season. I think it was like 13 yeah, was or like, 14. Yeah, yeah, like 11 or 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like you said. Because I actually look after this, they start the Manhattan. They do. Oh, yeah. the, next, the next episode is the, the Manhattan. next episode. Yeah, and then it's only four more, so it's the two Manhattan apartment episodes, and then yep. the finale, which is a two-parter. Yep. Yeah. So, so this is pretty much the last episode of season nine before they say, you know what, we're done. You know. Yeah. It makes me sad every time I think of the last episode. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why everyone hates season nine. You yeah. know, it's like, like, look at our Facebook group. Everyone, I mean, the hate that you mm-hmm. get on season nine is like, yeah. oh my God. Oh, yeah. Really I, and I can hate. see semi what they're saying, but I don't know. If you're a true King Queens fan, you'll support right. and love anything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. There's Maybe. some. There's As I one... gave it a 6.5. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You're, yeah, you're a hater. When, uh, when, yeah. Doug, when Doug was uh, trying to be a cl- uh, the clown for Kirby, uh, you know that episode is so fucking funny to me. Sorry, to call. no, you're good. Okay. You're good. We you cuss, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> come on, I cuss. I mean, come on. Okay. Yeah, I'm Steve here to edit that part out. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no. That episode is so funny. Yeah, you know it's like this episode or uh, season nine episode is so funny. Yeah, you know, but yeah. What's your know. favorite one? What's your favorite episode? Probably the uh, uh, wedding in Maryland. <laughs> yeah, the wedding. Which one? Remind me. Is that the one that? <laughs> They decided not to go and pretend they yeah. are there. Or either that or no Orleans. Were they, were no, they, oh, they, New Orleans, yes. yes. No. <laughs> the flinging of the cell phone. phone. <laughs> <laughs> you, guys, you guys have done both episodes? Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> those two episodes to me are the funny. Yes. I, I love those episodes. No yes. Orleans or the, like I said, the wedding in Maryland. Yeah. Oh my God. Why can't, why can't I think of that one? Which one is that one? So that's the Which one, one where the wedding in Maryland, the one where they pretend to, they sign their thing and that, that they're they there. They bring a present yeah. or something. The gravy boat. The what? The gravy boat. Oh, the yeah. gravy boat one. Okay. No, that's the, that's the New Orleans one. Yeah, is the gravy boat but which the wedding? They... The wedding in Maryland oh. is where they uh, pretend to go to Maryland to the wedding. They sign their invitation and send it in like they're going, but they stay home but decide that they have to go because nobody because Deacon got sick and nobody would give the gifts, so they got to go. So they have to drive like a a five hour drive in like three hours. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. so I might remember that one. That's a funny they episode. The, like, the, the ceremony was beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. Doug tried to get in the pictures. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sure you watched that one. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. And the New Orleans one was the... Uh, you you remember that one? Yeah, mm-hmm. I remember that one. Okay. That, that one. <laughs> My favorite is when he throws the <laughs> Yeah. It was so great. <laughs> he was so <laughs> freaked out that they were going to be there. <laughs> So they'd have not a good vacation at all. <laughs> the mariachi band start. Yeah. <laughs> it was so funny because he was trying to be careful the whole time, but then he uh, cashes the check in New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> he was careful the whole trip until that. It's like the National Bank of Mississippi or whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was so funny. I'm calling his mother. <laughs> 
Oh, okay, so since Adam Sandler was in this episode, and oh. obviously him and Kevin James have been in movies together and obviously separate, what is your favorite Adam Sandler or Kevin James or them together? Which one? What's your favorite? Go ahead, Chris. Tell us first. Movie? Yeah. That they've been favorite? in. Um, let's see. Adam Sandler? Alone? Well, not alone. Without Kevin James? Yeah, you James? can do alone um, or together or just mm-hmm. whichever. Um, I would say Adam Sandler, like, obviously, you got his early stuff like Waterboy. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, uh, oh, shit. I can't remember. Anything. I would say Big Daddy. Yes. That's my favorite. That's a good one. And... For Kevin James, I mean, you can't go wrong with Paul Paul Blart. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> so right? good. I can't. Yes, it's so it's so funny to me. Yep. And then together, if you had to ask me together, it would be Chuck and Larry. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yes. You know, That's a great one. It has to be. Yeah. Um. What about you guys? Where, where do you guys come in on that? I'm with you on Chuck and Larry. I love that yeah. one. Um, yeah. <laughs> just so good. I just it's love so it. so good. Yeah. <laughs> love it, love it. I obviously, um, Mall Cop, I mean, I love those, but my favorite one that Kevin James is in is Hitch. I love Hitch. Yes. Oh, um, yeah. I and yes. then I love, um, for Adam Sandler, um, I like 50 First Dates. So that's one of my oh. favorites. Okay. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Yep. That's what funny. What about you, Dusty? Um, Adam Sandler, who, that's such a tough one because I like all of them. And it has to be between uh, um, Big Daddy or Waterboy. <laughs> Maybe Billy Mass. I, I freaking love Billy Mass. That's such a hard choice because all his early stuff was great, like you said, Chris. Like, it's that's His early stuff was just the best. Yeah, and, there, and he, even and yeah, oh yeah, oh Happy Gilmore, yep. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hard. Um, Kevin James would have to be uh, Hitch. Um, I love Hitch, and then of yeah. course together, I now pronounce you Chuck Larry. I that movie oh, yeah. is just so damn funny, <laughs> and <laughs> my like, I I love Ving Rhames in this, like, because he's such a like big badass dude yes. and he plays a badass in every movie and then he's just he, it's just the way he acts in that is just so funny just seeing him act like that is just great but yeah that's that's a really good one yeah no, that's perfect yeah so that's fun all right well Jesse, do you want to tell um everybody who might listen and not follow us on social media you want to tell them how to follow definitely us? Yeah, so um, any of our new uh, listeners out there, or if you listen to us and you still haven't followed us, go to our Facebook page. It's uh, at Shutty Uppy Podcast. Um, same with Instagram. It's at Shutty Uppy Podcast. Um, I don't even think we have an email. Um, we and Steve do, used to have email. Yeah, and I... <laughs> I think he gave us the stuff for it. Yeah. <laughs> I've forgotten about Whoops. it. Whoops. I'll, I'll get on that. Yeah. <laughs> Along with answering everybody else back that yep. has a message. <laughs> that will be on my to-do list <laughs> this week. <laughs> but yeah, go follow us. Uh, we're like pretty close to over a thousand followers on Facebook. Um, Instagram, uh, we're, I mean, we're like probably a quarter of the way there. But yeah, give us a follow. Get us over a thousand. Yeah. Let's get this uh this show out there more. Let's get Kevin James on here. Yeah. <laughs> I won't be able to speak. <laughs> Je- like, Jenna would die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she would pass out. She would faint. Um and then also if you listen and you want to give us a rating and review, please do so because we'll read it um, yeah. on the podcast. Don't be and shy. Chris, we love criticism. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Dusty. Yeah, oh no! Love- I was just saying, don't be shy. We love criticism. Well, I mean, uh, Dusty does. I don't. No, so. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just have Jenna like close her ears, and I'll read yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, la, 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 la. Earmuffs. 
Um, and Chris, something I forgot to tell you when we stop yeah. recording, don't hey, like, don't leave or anything. Cause we'll okay. talk to you after. Okay. All right, fans. Well, Chris, we appreciate you joining yes. us. Thank um, you. really fun. Thanks episode. For having me. Yes. Yeah, yes. We appreciate you guys. And, Thank you um, so much. everybody will, uh, see you guys or actually we'll talk to you guys next week. Yep. Bye guys. All right. Later's on the man, Jay. <laughs>